Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking some more about Evil Dead the game. With the new prestige system we had new patch notes dropping and more balances and more changes that have come to the game. However the prestige system there's a lot to talk about in there. So I think I'd rather wait a few days to see what is happening. Saber has put a post on Twitter saying they're looking for feedback and they're watching what the feedback has been. They're looking at the numbers on the prestige because apparently the numbers are going a little bit crazy so they're watching that so i don't want to talk in depth about the prestige system yet i want to talk mostly about the patch notes and what the changes have been we got some general changes and some balance changes that people are screaming about so let's start with this what we first have obviously the new features the prestige mode and we have a new photo mode in exploration mode which is much appreciated and i know a lot of people were looking forward to this and a lot of people said why don't we have a photo mode so now you have it great talking about updates all survivors locked behind missions are now available why have they done that and why did we have to do the missions before well probably because the game is going for free on the epic game store on the 18th of november and they just want to make sure all those players have a chance to experience all the characters they want to play with before people decide perhaps the game is not for them so obviously they're just trying to make an effort to get everyone playing the game as much as possible and maybe staying for the long term now let's talk about the rework they done on Lord Arthur. And I'm really excited about this because I love Lord Arthur. So before what you had was a weapon master for heavy attacks and weapon master fast attacks, which have now been combined into one weapon master melee attack. So now this includes both heavy and fast attacks. It's still dealing 25% extra damage. And obviously if you prestige level one, it will get 30% more damage for you and your teammates. And what he has new, which it should have been an obvious one from the start is a weapon mastery for the sword the sword has a faster attack speed and deals increased health balance power and dismemberment damage which is the same that all the other survivors with weapon mastery have pretty much so i don't know why he didn't have this from the get-go because he always started the match with the sword but this is a very welcome change and this actually bumps up arthur to the top tier of survivors because he used to be at the very bottom a couple of patches ago but now he's looking better and better so i love this change we've got some general fixes here as well about survivors not falling under the map blacksmith scraps bar no longer displays grade when not available i mean it's just some changes that do make a difference they have some more collisions and getting stuck changes so let's see if this is going to be fixed the one that i'm most excited about all this now is the vault prompt now appears at all angles and distances and i'm assuming this works for the windows because i have to say windows are so broken often i walk towards a window and i can't vault there's no prompt to it and i keep trying to dash towards it and jump and it just doesn't happen very annoying so hopefully this is fixed now so we will test this and show in a future video any of the other general changes you guys can just read the notes i will link everything in the description as usual now the balance changes this is what people are usually excited for and the news are bad for the survivors and the news are good for the demons so let's start talking about it the biggest one that i've seen here for the survivors is harry i mean saber has got a thing with harry because he keeps nerfing harry and i know henry sits at a very strong spot and he's always sat at a very strong spot because of his unstoppable ability which makes him invulnerable to attacks and he can resurrect people, he can revive people. Henry has always been a strong survivor. Now the cooldown of his ability, which had already increased on the previous patch, has increased even more. Now instead of 75 seconds cooldown, you have 100 seconds. That's almost two minutes cooldown if you think about it. It's pretty massive and it will really make people think, when do I want to use this? Do I want to save it for when someone goes down? Or do I use it as soon as I start being attacked by the demon? It's definitely going to make players using Henry think about it twice before they use the ability however you guys can see as well that if you hit prestige level 5 with henry his unstoppable ability cooldown goes down to 95 seconds that plus the 10 percent from quick cooldown will bring him closer to the 75 seconds from before it's going to be around 85 seconds so if you has hit this point with henry you only actually have an increase of 10 percent of his cooldown not the end of the world really now before anyone says anything yes I don't have most of my characters leveled up and it's just, just because I don't have enough time to play this game. I wish I did, but I don't. So it is what it is. I'm just here to give you guys some news and give you guys some information. Let's talk about the blacksmith. So blacksmith weapon master melee damage has decreased from 30 
to 25%. So his Rough and Ready level 25 ability, uh, his damage decreased from 15 to 10%. So if you guys don't know, if the Blacksmith uses an amulet, then nearby survivors will have the damage increase for a certain amount of time. The damage used to be 15% and now it's 10%. And also the cooldown of this is gone up from 30 seconds to 40 seconds, which means if you keep using amulets, the damage increase doesn't stack up. You have to wait the 40 seconds to run out before you can use this again, and it, this has an, and this has an effect again. So a nerf to the blacksmith, and people are saying, but why have they done this? They always do this, they release a character, and then they nerf it. Well, they're only trying and testing, and then they see what the meta becomes with the new characters and the new balances and all that. And the officers saw that uh, blacksmith it's a little bit too strong he's buffing the survivors a little bit too much let's just give it a little bit of a nerf also his pick rate has shot through the roof probably overtaking cheryl now because cheryl used to be the most picked support but since blacksmith came out he has probably become the most picked support so they are just trying to balance things out and i don't see anything wrong with this now, this one i have a problem with david one of the least picked supports has been nerfed and th that i quite don't understand why it's happened. So just like the blacksmith, when David drinks uh, Shemps, he and all nearby survivors will take less damage for a time. There used to be 30%, that's been decreased to 20%. And also his Beacon of Hope skill has been nerfed and the re fear reduction increased from two seconds to 2.5 seconds. That means your fear will take longer to reduce, not massively, but just a little bit. But why are they nerfing David? I don't understand. So he's got two skills nerfed there. Not quite sure why. I don't see many Davids when I play. It's usually Cheryl or Blacksmith, maybe a Pablo. But David, I don't really see many. And support Ash, don't even get me started. I barely see that guy. Now, any. People sleep on Annie and I see so many Reddit posts about people saying I main Annie and she is one of the best survivors and I do agree. Whenever there's an Annie on my team, she just racks up some damage and she will boost all the characters around her because obviously she's a leader. Now she used to do balanced bar damage to boss units of 100%. That's been massively nerfed to 60%. Big nerf to Annie and my only problem with this is that I don't think Annie was highly picked even though I think she is one of the top survivors so a bit of a shame really that they're doing this to Annie because if anything you want to increase the pick rate of survivors that are not picked that much and I don't think this increases her pick rate so a bit of a shame but never mind now going back to Arthur even though he had a rework and there's been a slight buff on him there's been a slight nerf on the increased damage that Arthur and his teammates receive from his aura. Before it used to be 30% and now it's 25%. However, if you unlock prestige level one, you will go back to 30%, so not really a huge nerf. So not terrible news to Arthur on this. You can still get the 30%. It's just, you have to get prestige level one. And then we have increased crossbow and saw gun projectile speed and improved aiming. And I have to say, I'm very glad this is happening happening because I damn hate crossbows and that saw gun who the hell uses that saw gun I don't think anybody does I quite like the repetitive crossbow but the other ones I don't know who uses them the explosive crossbow is not too bad but I don't find the AOE is very significant to warrant me to use it but good news anyway and it also improved aiming so maybe this will help because I really feel sometimes I aim for the head and it just goes way past the head and I mean I can't aim for the head anyway but that's another topic now we move Moving on to demon buffs. Now I'm telling you, with this whole prestige thing, these demons are gonna be very strong. And even with the, without the prestige, as you guys are gonna see now. So first with the Plague Bringer, the Prisoner's Skeleton Vicious Circle damage has increased from 50 to 60. Not terrible, but a buff nonetheless. I already thought this Vicious Circle was pretty strong anyway. Now it's even stronger, so you guys have to watch out. Also stay on the Plague Bringer, the Cauldron has had a massive buff. Now the cooldown for the core drum, instead of being 120 seconds, is 100 seconds. So you're gonna be seeing more of the core drum in action, especially in front of cars and all that. Also the balanced defense that the core drum provides, instead of being 30%, now it's going up to a 50%. That's almost a 50% increase. That's mad actually. Now with the pit that died, the corrosive 
explosive blast damage has increased from 120 to 140 and the filthy splatter damage has increased from 75 to 90. Guys, I don't think this needed <laughs> because the pit dead deities are very so strong. I don't like the basics to be honest. I like the elites on the plague bringer and I'm telling you it didn't really need this. And also his melee resistance has increased from 30% to 40%. I mean that's mental and what this is doing this is an indirect nerf to warriors. If they're going to be taking 40% less damage from what warriors do then this is actually buffing another survivor class which hasn't received any love at all for the past few patches and that's the hunters. So the arch nemesis of the pit deadites are from now on the hunters. If you see a pit deadite you have to kill it with a hunter because a hunter will be 100% damage with a warrior it's going to be 60% damage. Now let's talk about the necromancer very quickly. The necromancer flew to kill cooldown has increased from 80 seconds to 95 seconds. A little nerf for the necromancer here but you know I think this is a good nerf because the pick rate of the necromancer lately has been over 50% I think. Whenever I get into a game 50% chance is going to be against a necromancer and it needs to be more balanced so this is what they're doing. You can still diminish that cooldown from 95 to 90 seconds by reaching prestige level 1 and then you're obviously going to see more people putting points on relentless evil so that you will reduce the cool time of the flutist by another 10%. So if you prestige 1 and you have three points on relentless evil then it's actually back to the 80 seconds of the flautist. You can see what they're doing here they're nerfing the necromancer on the short term or at least for the people that are going to be low level whoever already reached prestige level one you can go straight down back to the 80 seconds if you put the three points on relentless evil. So some interesting things that the devs are doing here. Now still on the necromancer there's been an increased combo speed of evil ash heavy attacks. I mean he was a little bit slow on his attacks overall but remember and I'm gonna have to test this and maybe you already have so drop down the comments if you have you could chain attack the combos of evil ash if you use the resurrect ability after four attacks no matter if it's light or heavy so say you do four light attacks and then you press resurrect and instantly you can do another four attacks so you can actually chain eight attacks there with evil ash now they've increased the combo of the heavy attacks I mean unless they fix this little exploit I think maybe this is a mistake because the necromancer is that most picked demon why would they want to buff him even more weird now let's talk about the most hated demon which is the puppeteer I mean he's got another buff <laughs> I mean what the hell has happened here but it's not a huge buff okay the only buff that he's got here is the demi eligo so the elites the puppeteer elites used to have range damage resistance of 30% and now it's gone up to 40% so what that tells us is that if you're going against plague bringer you need to bring some hunters and if you're going against puppeteer you got to bring the warriors in some interesting changes you can definitely see how the demons are getting more and more different with each patch that they do because let's be honest at the beginning of this game when they launched it all looked a bit samey but now they're really getting more distinct now the only other buff that the puppeteer is getting also relates mostly to the elites so it's a little bit confusing this one but what it says is puppet master power possessed cooldown reduction increase from 30 to 40 percent so what does this actually mean this is to do with the abilities of of the unit you are possessing. So this mostly applies to the elites because when you are using the abilities of the basics, the basics explode, so they die. And then that's the end of it but the elites they've got the thunderstruck thunderstruck before used to be eight seconds cooldown now there's an extra 10 percent reduction on the cooldown so i'm guessing it's going to be like seven seconds cooldown so the elites of the puppeteer are getting stronger and stronger and they were the runt of the litter really of all the demons they had the worst elites and now their elites are actually shaping up to be one of the best ones of the game now Henrietta's got a little bit of love, she's got a little bit of love. The Warlord doesn't get much love these days because it's pretty solid as it is. But now Henrietta light and heavy attacks are faster. That's quite dangerous because I didn't think that she was too slow anyway. She was slow, people would say she was slow and she could never hit the hunters but she could still hit them because you can't dodge forever. Now she's faster so she's become a lot more dangerous. And then the final change, we have an increased Necronomicon HP by another 5% which is 
an addition to the other 5% that they had already added on the previous patch. So the Necronomicon is gaining more and more health as time goes by, which is very welcome I think for all the survivors because that book health can go down quite quickly and now if Henrietta's light and heavy attacks are faster, I mean this extra 5% HP might not make a dent. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with this. So guys, this has been a video mostly about the patch notes that came with the prestige system. We're gonna be talking about the prestige system on a different video. Now, let me know down in the comments if I missed anything and also let me know what are the hidden changes that they've done because you know they always add some hidden changes. So if you guys know of any hidden changes, put down the comments and let's talk about it. If you guys watched until now, please drop me a like and support the channel. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.